uh, one of the most common questions I get after I start helping a hotel is how do we notify guests on an OTA that there's a deposit when they check in? Um, it's kind of a tough spot to find. I'm going to show you ex an example in Expedia how to set this up. It's really easy to do, but it's kind of tough to find. But, you know, a lot of hotel owners and operators want to collect a deposit from their guests when they check in. And there's an area in Expedia to do this so the guests are notified of a deposit when they have to check in. So I'm going to switch to my screen. I'm going to show you guys in about three minutes how to set this up. You're not going to believe how simple it is. Stay tuned. Okay, deposits. So we are working with a hotel that wants to set up a $25 deposit that they're going to collect from for each room when the guest checks in. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. I'm in the extranet for this property. And in order to find this information to set up, you go into the left-hand column here. You go under the property um, details tab and you go to property amenities. So property details tab, you go to the drop down, click property amenities, okay? We're gonna click on the yellow tab up here, search for amenities and just type in the word deposit. Now you can see a number of different deposit options show up here and you can spend time if you want to go through what those are. Uh, for this video, we're just going through general deposits to check in. So you just click on general deposit and in the right-hand column here, it shows up um, the, the, num the deposits that you can collect from people when they check in. So I'm going to click on general deposit, and we're going to collect this year-round. There's no specific, you know, seasonal dates that we're going to collect this, and we're, all gonna get it, we're also going to get it from people of all ages. So it doesn't matter what age the customer is, they got to pay the deposit. It's going to be $25 in the amount, and it's going to be collected per accommodation. You can choose to collect it per person. This one is, this property wants to collect per, per room. And we're going to collect this per stay. So you can do it per day, per week. We're going to do it per stay. That's what we want to do at this property. And you got the option here of, of uh, collecting cash only or credit cards. This particular property wants to do credit cards only. And hit save. And you see this green tab, this green information, uh, green wording showed up that says the change was saved successfully. So this deposit is all set up for this property. All the customers from now on, they'll be notified that there's a $25 deposit. Now let me show you where that shows up for the customers. I think it's important for you guys to know. Um, I've already went to this area prior to this video to make it you know, quicker for you guys. So I was acting like a regular customer, went to check out of a room, got to the payment page and that's where this information information shows up on the payment page. This is where the guest pays for their room and down here under the total price it shows the price for the room, it shows the taxes and fees and then the grand total and then right below that it says not included in your total mandatory charge collected at the property. And if you click on the details it says you'll be asked to pay the following charges at the property deposit US dollars, $25 per accommodation per stay. That's where the guests see this. So if a guest ever comes in and you know tells you they did not see or they didn't know there was a deposit, it's right there for the guest when they go to check out. That's all I have. I think it's really important. Like I said, we get a lot of hotel owners and operators that, that tell us, you know, we want to set up a deposit uh, for our guests when they check in on Expedia. This is how it's done. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, click like and please subscribe to our channel. I've got a lot more videos coming up to show you guys how to take care of a lot of different things for your hotel and the extranets and online. Thank you for watching.